Last week, the U.S. dollar ended at a net loss in the battle between COVID-19 headlines, Fed speaks, and improving U.S. economic data that had traders bouncing back and forth all week. Meanwhile, the U.S. business executives who were bracing for a month-long disruption due to coronavirus are now thinking in terms of years. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Monday, the main economic events are Japan's inflation rate and RBA meeting minutes. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which has continued its consolidation below the 75 resistance level for the past 30 days, but has kept above the Ichimoku cloud on the four hour chart for the whole month of July so far. The future cloud appears bullish, but it remains flat. If Monday's risk events create enough bullish momentum, we could see the pair break above this level, opening doors for further gains towards 76. However, a failure to break above the 75 level could result in further range trading between 75 and 74. Do you think the Aussie bulls are ready to take over? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.